What is up guys, Smobians here and welcome back to a, another 100 baby challenge. We are back. This series seems to be going very, very well. Everyone seems to be loving it. And I've been getting suggestions from all over the place, every social media and even, most recently, Insomnia 54, which I went to. So we're going to have this episode, a few suggestions from people who came up to me at Insomnia 54 and gave me some suggestions, as well as ones for the comments as well, because you guys left loads and loads of comments. I think we nearly hit 10,000 comments again, which is insane. So yes, we're going to be getting a mix of the two, because I felt it was unfair to do one or the other. So yes, let's get started with the first baby. The weird thing now is that lots of our children are starting to grow up into adi adults. Like, I just got a message saying Ali is growing up into an adult, which is, like, our third child, I think. It wasn't even our second. But anyway, hello, wifey. Where is the procreate button? There it is. Hello. And the first is a girl. So first off, I'm going to use a message I got from Insomnia, and I can't actually remember the name of the person who gave this to me, I'm sorry. But here's a picture of the note, and it says, on the 100 baby challenge, call a baby Kali and make her room orange themed, please. So sure thing, let's make this baby called Kali. Hello, give me that baby. And we are going to make a very orange themed room. Izzy, get out of this room, please. Shh, not done yet. Uh, what? It just says, what? Elijah, your son has died? What? What? This is what I was afraid of happening. Where was Elijah? Why did he die? What was he doing? It's on peaceful mode. Uh, well, I guess we are going to have to get Elijah back. I'm going to make a note of that and then we're going to have to get Elijah back as that was not what I wanted to happen. But anyway... Carly's room is finished and it is very orange indeed. We've got some carrots, we've got an orange plant, we've got some bronze-ish stuff there, some cheese obviously because orangey cheese, a tiger because orange, orange dye, orange lamp, suns, oh, Dr. Kiki, uh, a chicken because of its orange beak. So yeah, but that's about it. So let's place down Carly. And we will make her stay. Ooh, and she's kind of got red hair. Oh, if it was orange hair, that'd be perfect. But red hair. And look, she's got like a little ponytail going down. That's cute. Okay, let's give her some diamonds because that's what we have to do. Just doing my job of raising children and getting diamonds to them. I'm so, like, confused by how Elijah died. Now I had to make something I didn't think I'd ever have to make. A graveyard. Here lies Elijah. What? How did he die? There we go. And unfortunately, I've made the graveyard so it can be expanded upon, but hopefully we don't have to expand it. Ah, oh dear. Faye, I need some comfort. Faye, I have some bad news, and I have some good news. Third, good news, I'm going to sleep. Oh god, I fell under the bed. The bad news, Faye, Elijah died. Let's mourn him, Faye, let's mourn him. Okay, anyway, let's move on. New baby. Hello. And it is a girl. So Ag Over Rainbows left a comment saying, Will you please name a girl Laren and give her a YouTube theme room? Run away and things that represent you, Lizzie Cupquake, ETC. So, of course, I really like that name. It is very original. So here is Laren. And I kind of like this challenge of designing the room after me and Lizzie. So let's give it a go. Look, everyone, it's my best buddy, Evan. I don't even want you in my house. So we are going to move on to the last room from the bottom floor. What do you want, Jack? To tell you stories? Go, go, go play with your brothers and sisters. So for the carpet, I've done a YouTube logo. It doesn't fit very well, but I've done the best I can, okay? Okay, so for Laren's room, I've done it very Lizzie and Joel themed, and I'll explain every item and why. So we have a YouTube carpet there for you, and a red and white bed, with a lava lamp and some tables and stuff, and then this is Lizzie's side of the room, because we've got her skull, and this is my side of the room. So on my side, we've got some trains, because I just love trains. Uh, we've got this little weird dragon thing, because I found it hilarious and I have no idea what it is. We have some building blocks, because I like to do lots of time lapses and builds in creative. Uh, and then we've got a squirrel, because I've got chubby cheeks instead of squirrels. And then on Lizzie's side, 
we just have loads of cute little stuffed dolls, bunnies because bunny on your head and stuff like that. Uh, we have a sheep and a little wolf for a 100 Dalmatian challenge or 101 Dalmatian challenge. Uh, just some bears and some cute animals and yeah, and a jewelry box because she's pretty. And then a cuckoo clock because I thought it was kind of cool looking. Anyway, let's place down Laren. Laren? I keep pronouncing that wrong. Anyway, bang! There she goes. Stay there. She is a blonde. Hello. I like your jacket. And that there is the bottom floor entirely completed. So, yeah. We are going to move on to the second floor. We have now 15 children because one died. Uh, but we have 15 uh, and 16 done up rooms and we will try and get Elijah back or you let me know in the comments should I get Elijah back or should I clear out that room and make another room let me know in the comments what you think I should do Faye I know you're sleeping but it's time another girl three girls this episode and for this one we have a another one from i54 the convention I went to this weekend and this one is from a girl who came up to me called Jade Foster and she asked me to name it after her cousin called Emily who sadly passed away but she was obsessed with kickboxing and fighting uh, is what I put down I think it was just kickboxing I did fighting in but yes we're gonna call this girl Emily for you Jade here she is Give me that, baby. And she is going to be the first person on the second floor. So we need to go up the stairs. And we will start all the way down this end here. And these corridors are even lit up. Ah, that's better. So let's get working on Emily's room, the first room on the second floor. Okay, so for Emily's room, I've gone for a kickboxing slash martial arts slash fighting theme, as I think kickboxing is quite hard to do so I tried my best uh, so we've gone for more of a martial arts theme so we've got all these paintings on the wall like this because I've seen this somewhere before and I thought it looked kind of cool and we've got a few training dummies here to do the kickboxing on and stuff I did not do that very well I don't know what that noise was either uh, we've got a sword here with some chest obviously keeping all our tools in uh, then we've got a knight statue because because why not and then finally we've got our Got our outfit on the wall, which we wear for our martial arts. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it looks quite cool in here, though. It is a lot different and quite unique. So yeah, I've got some just some torches, candles in here as well, instead of the, the usual lamps to make it a bit different. But anyway, let's put down Emily here. Hello. Stay. Let's set your home. And then let's give you all your diamonds that you want, don't you? Yes, you do. So welcome our 17th child in total. Only 16 are currently alive, but we don't talk about that. I miss you, Elijah. But we will let Emily wander around up here and enjoy your new room. She even shut a door on the way out. How kind of her. So it is time again to fly up to fly. 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 Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's good, Faye. How's it going with you? Another girl. Are you serious? Four girls. We're going to have too many girls by the end of this. Random fan 5496 says, If you're going to get a girl, could you name her Amata Asu with a sunny yellow orange room? She's a very bright personality and likes to collect flowers and dye. Amata Asu is Japanese for sun goddess. And I am going to choose that name because... I struggle pronouncing it, and I'm always interested to learn how to pronounce new names, so Amaterasu. So, baby number four for this episode. Let's hop down. So, here is Amaterasu's room, and as you can see, very bright and colourful as requested, and she is obsessed with her dye collection, so much so that she has it above her bed. A bright yellow bed, I may add, and she's got some nice lamps here. Uh, which are orange, some orange carpet, her flowers she's collected over time, just dotted around her room, some on her bookshelves, uh, the sun, because she loves the sun, because she's the sun goddess and all that, and just some chests and a chicken, because it's yellow and orange, and I like them, because they're really funny looking. So let's place her down, and it is the same looking girl as another girl we've had this episode as well, who, I think it might be Larin who looks similar to this. Anyway, 
Let's get our diamonds and just give these to her. I think this is the longest name we've had so far. Faye, 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 what are we gonna do today? We are gonna make a baby, probably. Wait, not probably, we are. There we go. Okay, Faye, hello. It's another girl. So, five girls this episode, guys. That is insane. I have a huge list of names here that a girl gave me at Insomnia. So, I'm just gonna choose one of these at random. Let's go for Bertha, because why not? Bertha the baby. Baby Bertha, I like it. Actually, no, I love it. And for Baby Bertha, I actually get to choose because they didn't actually specify what they wanted the room to be like. So it's all down to me. Okay, so let's place down Bertha here. Oh, oh my God, stay. There we go. And I'll place her there and I'll show you her room. And it, she actually kind of looks like she suits this room. Because I've done a very garden themed room. If we look here, we've got some bench posts, a gnome, wheelbarrow, garden bench, bin, wind chimes. Oh my god, those doors are loud. Some apples, green bed, paintings, an anchor, because why not? And a flamingo, because why not? And also some milk, because why not? And also some water, because why not? But yes, Bertha, welcome to the family. Let me give you this diamond. Well... Oh my god, people downstairs are so loud at these doors. And there we go, Bertha. Look at them all. Look at them all spamming the doors. God damn it. Door spamming is going to get... Imagine when we get 100 babies. It's going to be ridiculous. So, yes guys, that is it for this episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we'll be using only comments, so make sure to leave a comment with your baby name suggestions. And the themes make it a lot easier for me. So come up with some wacky themes and I will use those. So yes, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you another time. Goodbye. Next up we have a church by EA Cats 2 and I really like this build. It was really creative. All the little things he added to it, like a little story kind of. We've got the 